that I'm going to be doing a review or a updated review on the uh, Gamucci Micro uh, Cartomizer Edition, which I received from www.gamucci.com. Before I start, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review. My opinion of the product remains true, honest, and accurate, as always. Okay, so let's go straight ahead and show what's in the box. Okay, so the new updated Gamucci Micro once again comes in a nice little presentation box. If you slide off this section, inside you're going to find two automatic batteries. Now, um, according to the email I received, these have been improved from 180 milliamp hours to 240 milliamp hours. And uh, you're also going to find a uh, one cartomizer there. Because the new Gamucci Micro uh, basically uh, uses cartomizers rather than a separate sort of atomizer and cartridge system. Once you lift out that section, you're then going to find yourself a nice user manual and a little sort of uh, information card regarding things like the smoking ban. Underneath that, you're going to find one box which contains a USB charger, a USB mains adapter. And I was quite pleasantly surprised to see that the uh, the mains adapter comes with two style of plugs. One is like a, a UK plug and one is a European plug. And you're also going to get a little sort of a soft sort of carrying pouch uh, to put your Gamucci Micro in. And as well as that, you're also going to get another pack of the cartomizers. Obviously, I've not opened these ones here yet because they also very kindly sent me out quite a few sort of different sort of flavours and strengths and that. So I've been going through most of those rather than using the one that actually came in the box. Okay, so um, let's go and have a look at the actual uh, Gamucci Micro. Right, because the uh, the new style of uh, Gamucci Micro is just like um, a cartomizer edition, it makes it extremely easy to use, especially if you're you know, a beginner, you just want something that's sort of very hassle-free. Like literally all you've got is two parts, the cartomizer and the battery. And uh, so you've just got to take the rubber bungs off the um, of the cartomizer and uh, you know incidentally these cartomizers they can be all uh, be refilled uh, quite easily and uh, you know if you look at some of my other reviews you can see you know you just got to take out that little top cap and then either drip your e-liquid down there or you can fill up one of the little rubber bungs with your juice and then just very carefully sort of lower it into it and that will um, and that will fill it up that way okay i'm not going to sort of go into that at the moment i'm just going to sort of concentrate on the actual uh, Gamucci Micro. And so once uh, you take the rubber bungs off, all you've got to do is very simply screw the two together, and that's it, you can start vaping. You know, uh, very simple. You know, the cartomizers, you know, for a beginner, you know, they really are like the perfect thing. They're so much better than using a separate atomizer and cartridge system. It's just uh, just way too many advantages using the, uh, the cartomizer. Okay, so, you know, as you can see, you know, it's, um, you know, it's quite a nice look, uh, looking little, uh, e-cig obviously he's trying to look like a, a traditional sort of tobacco cigarette and uh, you know he does a pretty good job of it really it's a little bit larger than a regular cigarette but nevertheless so you know it feels nice in the hand and uh, you know it looks quite a quite a lot uh, quite a little sort of smart device okay so um not a great deal else i can really sort of tell you about it apart from you've got an led at the end there which will light up a like a, an orange color every time you take a drag again just to sort of try and make it more sort of cigarette like Okay, so um, uh, let's go and see what it vapes like. Okay, so that is the Gamucci Micro Cartomizer Edition. Uh, now, back in, I think, uh, back in 2008 or early 2009, I reviewed the uh, the Gamucci Micro then, and it was um, a bit of a disaster because basically whilst I was actually doing the recording, the actual Gamucci Micro died on me, basically. Uh, so needless to say, the review wasn't sort of overly positive. Um, but then Gamucci have obviously recently seen that review and then contacted me and sort of said, you know, can you do an updated review on our new model? And so that's what we got here. So I'm going to be using the um, the tobacco flavour cartomizer, which is 1.6%, uh, or which I'd imagine is the same as calling it a 16 milligram strength. And nice and easy to do. Uh, to do. All you've got to do is sort of pull off the little rubber bungs stick them over there and then just uh, screw it into your battery. So from a beginner's point of view, you know, somebody who wants something very nice and simple to use, that's sort of, you know, cigarette-like, and like the uh, cartomizer sort of starter kits, you know, really are a very good choice. Okay, so this is the 1.6% uh, tobacco.
And as you can see, no vapor wise, it's producing a really nice amount of vapor. Get a lot of nice sort of volume of vapor, but I wouldn't say the actual sort of density um, is is too brilliant. Like, like I said, you, know, you can see plenty of vapors coming out of my mouth, but it's not like a, a particularly sort of a thick, dense vapor. But nevertheless, you know, still a, a nice amount of vapor and definitely more vapor um, than what you'd get smoke from a like a cigarette, for example. Um, the flavour of the uh, tobacco, um, it's a really nice flavour, it's not sort of overly strong but it's not sort of overly weak either, just a nice sort of middle of the road sort of smoky tobacco flavour and I find that when you have got those sort of um, middle of the road sort of flavours it means that you're not going to get sort of too bored of it uh, quickly and you're also not going to sort of find it a bit sickly or overpowering so it's a, it's a nice flavour that you sort of quite happy vape on all day really. Uh, throw hit wise, it's not really sort of um, doing it for me. You know, I like to do a mouth and how you take the vapor into your mouth, breathe it down to your lungs, and that gives you that sort of kick in the back of your throat. And you know, I am getting that kick there, but it's um, it's not particularly uh, strong. Um, now, this could be because of the actual sort of strength of the cartonizer. Now, I personally find that the higher the nicotine content and like the stronger or the harsher the throat hit. And I normally vapor 18 milligram strength, which is not a great deal sort of stronger than this, but it could be just that, you know, just that slight amount uh, needed to give me that sort of slightly increased uh, throat hit. Uh, now they sent me out the zero nicotine strength, the 0 0.6 and the 1.6. So whether that means that 1.6 is the strongest that they actually do, I'm not too sure. But uh, you know, for those who aren't overly fussed about a, a massive kick in the back of your throat, you probably won't see it as a, as a problem. But for me personally, I just um, probably like you know, a 2.4% strength will probably give me that sort of um, same experience as vaping like an 18 milligram strength on a, uh, like another electronic cigarette. So just maybe um, just need to get a slightly stronger cartomizer for me personally anyway. Um, battery life on it, um, the original one they said was 180 milliamp hour and this has been improved to 240 milliamp hour but um, which is still in like not sort of too amazing really. Um, I'd say I'm probably going through about sort of two, two and a half of these batteries a day but then you have to bear in mind I'd, I'd class myself as like a quite a moderate sort of vapour. I try and treat them as like a real cigarette so every time I get a craving I'll pick it up have 10 to 15 drags and put it down again so that way the uh, the battery sort of lasts me a little bit longer than what um, another person might experience. Now I'd say if you're a particularly heavy vapor like somebody like a chain vapor who you know, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep at night you know you're vaping all day long you know you'd probably go through half a dozen of these batteries each day I would have thought you know a heavy vapor could probably sort of cane one in about an hour, hour and a half sort of tops really but um, you know, compare it to other sort of um, Electronic cigarettes are like you no know, sort of similar size, and I'd say you know it's pretty much about average, really. Uh, the, uh, the switch on it is um, it's pretty good. I do find you have to give it a a slightly sort of um, harder inhale than a soft inhale. Otherwise, you know, it does sort of tend to sort of struggle to, like, you know, sort of stay activated throughout the length of your inhale. But um, it's not, um, it's not bad, but it's not sort of like amazing either, really. Um, it is activated by the wind, so if you're driving it in your car, then you know, and you know, or near like loudspeakers, then it may well sort of uh, trigger. However, though, it does take a lot for it to actually trigger. I mean, like, if I just sort of try and demonstrate by blowing on the end, hopefully you can sort of see it light up. Which he's not doing there. Let's try that end. So you can see, you know, uh, if you if it's getting a very strong wind on it, then it will activate. But like I say, you know, I'm, I'm managing to blow sort of really hard there. So 
I've not actually used it when I've been driving along and I've not been to a nightclub either, so I can't sort of confirm whether it will go off. But nevertheless, so that little test does tell me that um, you know it could be activated by wind or by uh, sort of loud vibrations. It has also got a, I think it's a five second cut off, which means that you're restricted to a five second long inhale and then it'll basically sort of cut off. Um, but there's no sort of a hanging about. Once it has sort of flashed a couple of times to let you know you've reached that five second long inhale, then you can sort of start vaping straight away again. And I'll try and uh, demonstrate that now. And that is a pretty much a prime example of um, where you're having to sort of do a quite a sort of a steady inhale because uh, I can't even reach that five seconds without it actually sort of um, deactivating. Let's try again. So it's flashing now, and then you can go again now. So, um, without a doubt, it's far, far better than the original Gamucci Micro. I mean, like this one works, the other one didn't. So, you know, anything was going to be an improvement on the original one. Uh, but, you know, for me personally, I do think that uh, for a beginner who wants a starter kit that's nice and easy, you've got to go with like a, a really nice sort of a cartomizer sort of model. Just because it takes out so much fuss with you know, refilling and changing bits about and all this sort of stuff. You know, it's just nice and easy to use. All you've got to do, you know, is get two bits and screw them together and that's it, you can start vaping again. Um, I'm not too sure what the prices are on these. I mean, like, um, if they were priced around sort of, 25 30 pounds i'd say you no know, this is a good little kit for a beginner if it's priced at 60 odd pounds then i'd say sort of forget about it really because um with gamucci if you go along to the gamucci uh website uh they don't actually sell them so you have to sort of try and find other retailers who sell them and then like the price is all over the place really so uh you know if you can find one at a, a decent price you know these are really nice little kit for a beginner um so get on to the scores in uh for the looks obviously you know it's trying to look like a real cigarette and uh, so it's not going to be sort of particularly sort of flash looking and that. And it does a good job of sort of mimicking a real cigarette. So um, no, I'll, I'll give the looks. A, I'll give the looks an eight out of ten uh, for the vapor. Um, it's a tricky one because it is producing a nice sort of cloud of vapor now, but it's not quite as dense a vapor as what you'd get from like maybe like a, another model. But maybe the actual volume of it is actually sort of slightly increased over other models. So I'll give the vapor a, a seven and a half. Uh, for the throat hit though, like for me personally, um, it's just not cutting it, so I'd have to give that a 5 out of 10. Uh, for the battery life, now obviously if you're going to compare it to some of the, like, the big battery mods out there, then it looks awful. But if you compare it to other electronic, electronic cigarettes in a similar sort of size and class, then you know it's on average and it's not too bad really. Obviously, the uh, the smaller the device is, the smaller the battery is, and obviously uh, the less sort of vaping time you're going to get out of it. So not going to be sort of too harsh on the battery life. So I'll give that a, a seven out of ten uh, for the uh, the switch. Um, you know it does work. You do have to sort of inhale sort of slightly harder. Um, obviously, there's no sort of main on-off switch, but even though it is act wind activated, I think it would be unlikely that it's going to sort of go off in your pocket or you know like or if you're standing near any sort of like loud speakers and that um but because you know i'm having to sort of struggle a little bit to sort of keep it activated i'll give that a seven out of ten as well but, you know so overall though no, like definitely a major major improvement on the original gamucci micro okay guys thank you very much for watching uh, if you fancy trying one of these out for yourself um, don't really bother going along to the Gamucci.com uh, website because I don't actually sell them. You're going to have to sort of do a bit of googling to sort of try and find them, basically. Uh, but there may be a list of sort of resellers on the actual Gamucci website, so maybe it is worth going along now. Uh, but also, please come along and uh, visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e dash sig dash reviews.com. Cheers, guys. Happy vaping. See you later.